Tennessee end of course, algebra one. This is the practice test. Question number 28. Now, this question is really easy. It asks which equation best represents the graph of the line. There's a couple ways that you could do this. The easiest way is just to look at the answers. The answers all are in slope intercept form, which is great. I'm going to look at uh, the slope versus the intercept. The intercept here is where it heads the y-axis. That's negative seven. Should they all end in negative seven? Yep. And if you forget what slope intercept form looks like, use your formulas page. There's the slope intercept equation right there. Y equals mx plus b. Well, I know m is slope because it says m is slope right here. So that plus b thing must be the intercept because it's slope and intercept. That would be if I covered up the m of x, it says y equals b, which means on the y-axis, that's where it hits. All of these have negative 7, so in this case, the y-intercept is not very helpful. From here, I look at the nature of the line. The line goes down. If it goes down over time, that means it's negative. So all of your answers that are positive, this has uh, 4 thirds as the slope, so that's not right. This has 3 fourths as the slope. That can't be it either, because they're both positive. And if you forget, remember the m is the slope, it says so in the slope uh, formula. Now for here, I'm just going to see whether I'm going to go down 4 and right 3, or down 3 and right 4. I'm going to pick two points that cross on the line. So you could pick negative 7, that's fine. And it crosses right here. I'll just try to pick a spot that's sort of like right on the edge of one of these uh, boxes. It does it again somewhere else, probably like right in here. I'm going to go down to the same line as 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going down 6, and then I'm going to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if I reduce negative 6 over 8, I get negative 3 over 4, and that answer is right there. So the answer to number 28 on the practice test is J. So, you know, hopefully that's kind of helpful.